and welcome to New Life Plus. I am your host, Eric Mary, joined today by Mr. Tom Asmar. Tom, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good today. How are you? Doing pretty well. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's just the two of us today. Uh, John, unfortunately, couldn't be here. It's his birthday, so happy birthday to John. Um, he's out with his family having a great time. Yeah, John, it's um, so cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Watching his family instead of us. I completely understand. Um, so hopefully he'll be back next week. Maybe we can get a couple other voices on here as well. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks. We've kind of been struggling to schedule things correctly. So Yeah, I work about 12 yeah. hours a day, five days a week. Yeah, don't we all? Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to get kind of more on a hopefully weekly schedule yeah. or maybe bi-weekly if we can like do a couple recordings at a time, something like that. True. We'll see. We'll hopefully hit weekly if bi-weekly is a thing. Yeah, right? even if even if we just have to record a couple in one sitting just to get a couple weeks out because I know all of our work schedules are crazy. Um, anyway, we've been thinking for the past couple weeks about just some, some questions we want to ask, some goofy random questions that I think would be fun to answer. Um, so jump into it. So uh, my question that I thought was very interesting is if you could train any animal to do your bidding, which animal would you be? What animal would you pick? Yeah. And I, I kind of wanted to combo into this just because I think it would be funny. Because cause one of my questions I came up with was, um, what if we could give animals sentience? So it would be kind of funny to pair them together um, if we could enthrall some animals that are also sentient. But um, if they're sentient, are they your enthrall? That's a good point. See, it'd be hard to combo them because once you give them sentience, then it's hard to control them. True. So is this, are these two different topics at the same time? Or do you want to try to t- turn it? I don't know, actually. See, it's, it's, it's weird to have them separate and then also combo them because usually if you have a dog, yeah. so say, say you have a pet dog, whatever. You give that dog sentience, it can think like a human. Does your dog want to be your pet anymore? I'd, I'd, I'd think that through the through mutual benefits that he would. However, it depends on the dog, though. That's the thing. Oh, not all humans are the same. They don't. Not every human wants to have friends. Maybe your, maybe one dog doesn't want to have friends, unlike yep. you. Or like, oh, God. what if your dog feels like you're denying it? It's like... Basic needs? Not as basic needs, but like as birthright. It's like... I'm a dog. I want to be out running in the wild hunting. It's like, that's clearly a squirrel running in a yard. You don't want to be back, bitch? I don't think so. But at that point, they're making their own decisions, and then they'd be getting their own repercussions for their decision because they understand that's their choice now. Yeah, so are we therefore responsible for them at that point? This is a little deeper, man. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think we would not be responsible for the decisions because... They're sentient now. Yeah, it'd be more have, like having a roommate than having a pet. A cute furry little pet. Cute but yeah, <laughs> but they also probably couldn't talk though, because right. like dogs don't have vocal cords. I mean, at what point is sentient sentience though? Well, it's how, like if they, if they can feel and think like a human, but they talk just in dog because animals can't form words. So it's like little Pokemon that are like Pikachu, Pikachu. Yeah. Pika, Pika. Getting <laughs> all dogs say dog, dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder. It's like, are Pokemon smart? I think so. Like Pikachu acts like a human. Yes, he has human feelings, emotions. Yeah, um, he can. He feels for Ash. He feels, for, and every Pokemon feels for their trainer. But then, is Psyduck just like a dumb animal, I, I, or is he just like a mentally retarded person? I, 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 I don't think all Psyducks are like that. Because <laughs> I, I think all Psyducks are like that. I don't think so. <laughs> At least I hope they are. I mean, I'd hope so. But then, but then you get Magikarp that just lists like this little Magikarp. I always picture like those ones. I'm always like, oh, it's just a fish. Yes, but then it turns into Gyarados. <laughs> it's a scary fish. <laughs> it's a danger fish. But but what? At what point does it hit that? Does it hit that level? That's the like the the whole. No, I think trying to compare Pokemon to this is awesome. <laughs> like, you can't. We're throwing in a third variable. That's horribly difficult to. Okay, understand. so now all animals are Pokemon. What do you do? Now all animals are Pokemon. <laughs> is it okay to battle them to the death? <laughs> do they have special powers, or are they just absolutely okay? That's fair enough. Then. <laughs> well, then you just capture them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to the conclusion. <laughs> If animals have superpowers, then yes, it's okay. <laughs> but they won't Take die. They'll, ju- they'll just have to get stronger, and then they can eat, beat other animals. Not eat. Like, that'd be really I mean, they could eat them too, I suppose. They do, eat do, animals anyway. Do, do Pokemon eat other Pokemon? I think so, but they I don't must, know. They must, right? I don't know. Like, how, you have, like, a wild growler. Which, that's the dog one, right? Yeah. Like fire dog. 
It's and not, then you it have Tauros. eaten plants in the wild. No. But I've eaten some, like, elk Pokemon. But, like, Tauros are, like, the, the deer ones. I don't know what the deer ones are. I'm not I know the Gen 1 ones exclusively, and that's it. <sighs> Casual. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Stantler. Like, I know the ones I grew up with. That's Stantler. It. That was Gen Stantler. 2. I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's not very used. It's not very good. But I wish. I love looks it. like reindeer. Yeah. So it's, I mean, just imagine like Ralph is just chasing down the Stantler. And then. They definitely eat each other. Like, Pokemon like, is definitely much darker than they make it seem. Yeah. Oh, no. If you read the lore, some of it's pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. I mean, messed up. Shh. <laughs> 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 Whatever. And we got a couple slurs in here. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I, I did want to update. It's no biggie. Um, but yeah, back to the actual animals. I mean, like, this goes into. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil. So this is we we know we're talking about this with the liquid hamster idea, right? Liquid hamster. <laughs> You've heard this. So me and Dylan, one of our friends, I don't know what we were doing. We we're chilling in my basement one day talking about random garbage. <laughs> he out of nowhere came up with, "What if you could make hamsters liquid?" Like, they were a real hamster, but they could turn into liquid form and, like, goo away as, like, a defense mechanism. But then we came up with, all right, what if we gave them the choice? Like, what if we could turn hamster sentient, ask them if they want to be turned into liquid form and have that, like, little hamster superpower? To just turn into liquid? Just to turn into liquid. I mean, if they they have an extra defense mechanism... Oh god! If they're released into the <laughs> wild, I feel like it's helpful. But then you could just drink the hamster. Just drink the hamster. Oh, dude, that'd be even but really. Then we <laughs> also came up with if we were to give the hamster sentience to turn liquid, then they'd probably be dangerous to us because we have su- these super powered hamsters that are also smart. Like, but like, can we into... then like take the sentience away? But like, is is super? It's turning into liquid a superpower. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that is that is my biggest. I'm pretty, actually, I'm pretty sure there's like an X Man who does that, isn't there? Yeah. That's like, so- I'm the sorry. First movie, <laughs> in the first X Men movie, like way back when Hugh Jackman was first Wolverine, like the first movie, I'm pretty sure like a senator was turned into liquid. Like he could turn back and forth from liquid. I mean, does he? If he gains all like the mobility and can control the mobility, yeah, that's actually that's kind I'm of. I'm assuming cool. they can control it. I'm. Just, I assume that they just turn into a puddle and that's it. Yeah, but it's like, would a hamster be like, yeah, I want that, if it was smart. I mean, if I was smart, I'd want that. Yeah, and yeah, I do want absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> no questions asked. To go gelatinous at, or like liquidous at any point? Ooh, mm-hmm. maybe. Slide mm-hmm. under. You've heard of slide into their DMs, but slide into underneath the door. I IRL DMs. No, but like, even so, like, a hamster being smart is like relatively non threatening. But imagine. Gorillas, it's like Planet, Planet of the Apes at that point. True. Gorillas are just like much stronger humans and they can also like use and utilize our weapons. Yeah, but it depends how we treat them as well once they're sentient. If you treat them poorly, then they're going to want to uprise. But if you treat them with respect and equality, will that make them less likely to try to kick our teeth in? Probably. But at the same time, they could just overthrow us whenever they wanted. You, yes. If they're, if they're as smart as us, like that's the thing humans have going. We're smarter than everything else on the planet. True. That's the only reason why they're in charge. This is this is getting to the next like, level. Like, imagine lion is smart as you. That'd be scary. That'd be horrifying. That'd be scary. That'd be really freaking scary, actually. Mm-hmm. Just like, make like little lion armor, so yeah. that, and then like give itself lion boosters whenever it tries. I mean, to they run. don't have Ooh. thumbs, so we have that advantage. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what? They'll, they'll just like ambush us with with, the, with their packs. But I mean, they come up with something. And then they hit animal armies. They just have the hippos attack us. Mm-hmm. I would have hippos attack us. That'd be crazy. Hippos are horrifying. Yeah, dude. They would they kill more people than sharks. Like I was on Reddit the other day, and there was a hippo that was being hunted by a pack of lions. And it's like this lion went in, and it just annihilated them. Oh. Like, these are scary creatures. Like, it just, like, bit the lion in half. Now, now imagine if the lions control hippos. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See, this is the where lions we... invent mind control. No, no, they just like hippos. You want the best land? We got you. You just gotta That's go do our bidding. And then the hippos yeah, are like, you, like, if if every animal was sentient, the oh. entire okay, world the... ecosystem would the... be so fucked up. The entire world, every animal is sentient, but humans are not al- around anymore. So, oh, let's, so, let's... so we're taking humans out of it? Yeah, because because okay. uh, we we see what we can do. We already know what that we're okay. Okay, but then we're taking our ideas out too. 
So it's like very primal senses. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm down with that. So it's like it's like the lion king right now. Okay. Yeah. Which animal do you think would win? Not win, but what would the hierarchy look like? Like who would become the new humans? Yes. Like who would become in charge? I mean, my go-to is kind of like apes. Apes. Because they're already. If they, if I don't they know, st- if they're just as smart, though. I mean, if they're just I smart, would like they bombs be... Bombs are such an advantage. Because that... you can utilize tools better. True. Would they be the new humans that just start making spears and shit? Probably. Okay. But okay. then, like, lions or, like, any kind of, like, big cat already has, like, natural weapons. Yeah, but... So it's like, if they can deploy tactics with those natural weapons... But then, but then you have the range with the spears and you can just, like, That's phalanx true. it with, like, a bark tr- thing and just be like... Well, at that point, then, are eagles, like, the most horrifying thing? I don't know how strong an eagle is in real life. I don't know. I mean, they're a big creature. They're big birds. Oh. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, like they, they can gouge they somebody's eyes out super, their fast. Superiority. They'd be the king of the air. They'd be yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, I yeah. mean, they are anyway. I mean, true. But you know, but yeah. I'll imagine eagles flying in formation and like dive bombing shit. Yeah, but they actually have like ballistas. <laughs> like, can you imagine if the gorillas and the eagles form an alliance, and you have eagles dropping artillery on the lions? That'd be a gun for. That'd be insane. That would be that would okay, but then okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna side on right. the lion side. I want right you now. to form your best army. Best army? Your best animal army <sighs> that are all smart. I'm thinking you've got big cats front lining. They're like, I'm a cat, I'm gonna eat you. You've got some like super sleeper assassin snakes. Okay, okay. Or like and you could probably throw in like some small animals. Like a mouse is a sneaky boy. So what's he gonna do? Like, go on the back lines, just spying around? Yeah, it's like if you need to assassinate somebody, you send your cobra. Yeah, true. Like he's gonna get in there and he's gonna get the job done. True. One bite, he's done for. Yeah, exactly. Not a rattlesnake though. The rattlesnake no, just gives the like, <laughs> It's like oh god, he's here. <laughs> oh my god, you you drive them mad. You send like 30, 30 rattlesnakes at them. You just have them hissing around, and then all of a sudden you have this one silent thing and just like hi, my. Yeah, it's like just straight jump. distraction. Yep. Oh my god, that that'd be nerve wracking as hell. Just like hearing thirty rattlesnakes around you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then what if you have so like support no. creatures? Elephant front line. Elephant front line. For oh, me. that's I didn't even think of that. That's elephants a good one. front line. Elephants going front line. Hippo, hippos, and elephants. Your big tanks. You, you got that's scary. Yeah. They're just gonna charge down anything. They don't even. They don't even know what's going down. Mm-hmm. They're just going. You for have it. like the elephant and hippos front lining, but then you have like the lions big, are my cavalry. Big jungle cats. Th- those are my cavalry. Yeah, they come up from the side or something. And oh just yeah. <laughs> take over. Oh. And then you have eagles like dropping, dropping stuff. Yeah. And like, hawks like dive rocks, bombing. A rock hurt. Oh yeah, a rock from. High enough. Hundred foot oh, rock. Yeah. That's yeah. gonna hurt. That's gonna kill you. Or. <laughs> This was a funny idea. I don't think it's actually going to work, but you know, if an eagle grabs a swordfish and just. <laughs> <laughs> so a whole bunch of animals grabbing fish out of the ocean, <laughs> using them as weapons. It's just like. You've got like a gorilla with lobsters attached to his arms. <laughs> they dropping turtles. Oh, God. T- turtles would turtles would still be like the bottom of the food chain. Yeah, because they're just you're slow. Yeah, it's disappointing. But they live forever. That's true. Their knowledge would be like That's they, they would have they'd the be, lore of the world. They'd, they'd be the be shamans. Like the sages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd go your little eighteen year old self. You'd be going to the mountain to meet your turtle. Your turtle turtle sensei. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Kung Fu Panda has a turtle, right, or something like that. Isn't yes. he the master? No, that was the little like lemur thing. Yeah, but didn't there was I a thought turtle. there was a turtle in that I, I that was like was super too. sages. I, I don't know. I watched that movie so long ago. Yeah. I think there was a turtle in there. But it'd be it'd be like that. Yeah. You have magic, magic turtle on the mountain. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Oh dude, imagine if turtles just said you that'd be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that would be they're not dangerous. Like no, they'd just be like telling you about the world laughing. Gross. Yeah. I feel like they'd be high all the time. Yeah. But as, but as for, like, the creatures that would take over the world that would be the new kings, oh, God. it's got to be one of the, like, naturally stronger ones. Yeah. Would you pick something with more, like, tankiness at that point? Just so that, like, a hippo, like you said, they were being attacked by the lions. Well, I mean, if we're taking humans out, we're assuming guns don't exist yet. Oh, yeah, no. 
So at that point, it's really hard to deal with an elephant. True. Like, I didn't even think of that. True. Like, yeah, yeah a gorilla's strong, but an elephant's so much stronger. It has a trunk range. Mm-hmm. We also got to think a lot of the ocean. I mean, the ocean, I feel like it's its own entity. Yeah, they'd have, they're like, none of them are going to come onto land and, like, take over. Oh, octopuses would win, I think. The giant octopuses. Like, sharks are, like, yeah, but, like, I think octopuses are, yeah. Have well, like, more, a lot of the whales, smarter... like, killer whales. Yeah. Like, those things are horrifying. Like, sharks are scared of those. Okay. Like, a lot of surfers actually will paint the bottom of their surfboard the same, like, the black and white pattern of, like, an orca. Just because sharks won't screw with them. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Mm-hmm. I didn't learn something today. Yeah, so, like, yeah. But, no, we really have to treat them separately because, I mean, an orca's not going to come on land and try to do anything. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did you see that news article? There was a baby whale washed up on shore. It was dead. But these guys, they were the construction crew or something, had a forklift. So they picked up the baby whale with their forklift and tried to put it in a dumpster. Why? Just, I guess they were trying to just like get rid of it, get it off the beach. But it's like, there's so many better ways to deal with it. Eric, I was thinking of something else completely. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, oh God, I don't know if this was a mat- from a TV show or a movie or where it came from. But there was one thing that was like, Tuna will rule the world one day. Sure, they might not be able to do it today. Maybe they won't be able to do it tomorrow. But one day, they're going to make, like, out of kelp, a breathing apparatus that allows them to bring it out to land. They don't need to be there for an hour. They they only need to be there for an hour. They do their hour work. Then they make another breathing apparatus. They have another hour. Mm -hmm. They continue just making breathing apparatuses until they get drunk. (laughs) <laughs> Why tuna? I don't know. I forget where this came from, but goddamn. <coughs> Imagine if that happened. Oh my god. Like tuna as soon as out of water, you just dump it. I don't care how many hours you're breathing down to get back in the water. <laughs> would frogs be OP because they can go <coughs> land and water? Or would they be like the diplomats of the world? I think they're too small. Okay, true. I, I mean they'd probably be like <clears throat> I don't know, they'd be like very small kind of hippies. Like they're frogs. Yeah. You lick each other's back and get high. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, yo, you want some perp frog? <laughs> I got a purple friend. You want to meet him? <laughs> oh, God. Dude, there'd be a whole different animal hierarchy system without humans. There really would be. Dogs wouldn't exist. Like, I feel like it'd be very tribal. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if anybody can... But if people can... But if some animals control, control other tribes... That that would be, yeah. It really game. come down to like what what's the best alliance that you can form. Yeah, it's like or if there would even be like interspecies alignment alliances because who's to say all the lions are gonna fit together? Oh, true, true. They might have different. Like I mean, like humans, we obviously have different. What humans? We, have, we don't fight against each other at all. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're not just one united planet. <sighs> no, but I know what you mean. That's, I, I didn't actually think about that. Yeah, because you'd have, like... It'd probably be geographical, right? Would it be, but it, even though... Even, it's still not geographical either here, though. Like, if you think about it, people in America are fighting about the same things every, all the time. Yeah, I guess... I, I feel like early on in their sentience, it'd be a lot of territorial disputes. Yeah. And, like, whoever comes out top of those would start to form alliances. That's because, like, oh, sure, we're down here. Say, like, North America. Yeah, just because that's where we are. We've got like the big. We got like the big three. We've got wolves, we've got bears, and we've got like mountain cats. We got like mountain lions, that sort of thing. Yeah, I feel like those are like the big three creatures in North America. And then of course you got like snakes and things like that. But and we don't really have any. When you get to the west, you got like poisonous snakes and stuff. But... And bison. And bison, but I feel like any yeah, herbivore. Is kind of like low tier. Yeah, they're not. They're not striving for much at that point. Yeah, exactly. What would they eat? They'd have. To, they'd have to hunt outside their grounds. Carnivores. Or are they going to start eating their own people? That's they definitely still hunt small po- animals. That's a power move, right there. Hunting your own people. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like they'd ever turn to cannibalism. No, no, like not their own people. But like, think about it. But after they form alliances with other animals or within themselves. Oh, that's a good point. Because it's like if you're in lion you're not gonna allied with some gazelle like there's gonna be problems there true unless they're under your protection then you hunt the other gazelle that are not under your protection 
Yeah, it'd be. I, th- I feel like it'd be very like. And then are they gonna start using the gazelle to hunt other animals for them? Like, oh, that's just the gazelle. He's fine. And then it's just like, gazelle attack. Yeah, it's like at the end of a ter- territorial dispute, do you like take off a dead back to like your base? They're like part of the spoils. It's like, oh, we've got food for a while now. Like, okay, now let's. Is, so now humans are back on Earth. This is maybe you have a thought. Are you a vegetarian now? Oh God. Because, like, imagine walking up to a cow and it's like, I'm going to eat you. He's like, oh, God, please no. Mm, I'd make it a lot more. It'd be so much harder. It, but think about it like this. How many times do you actually see a cow in real life? I Personally, personally, I never see cows. That's true. So it's like, I wouldn't care too much personally. But the second I start seeing them, it'd make me want to do it less and less. Yeah. But, well, like, the people who have, like, the farmers who have to kill the cows, it's like, they now the cows are like voicing their opinions. Do you think we're? I'm, I'm assuming like all animals can talk at this point. Too. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Pixar movie. Yeah. Oh god, this gets tough. Yeah, right. If I, if I was a farmer, and I would, oh god, this is oh god. <laughs> yeah, because the animals would still have to be eating each other. So why? Just because that's how it works. So what would be wrong if a human eats an animal? I guess. Yeah, like. If we were to, like, instantly now, like, change all animals to be sentient... It'd be weird. It'd be so much different than if we were always all sentient. Yes. I don't know what I would do at that point. If we were always all sentient... We would probably be less populous than we are now. You, probably because then everything would have their own territory. everything else would have tools. Because, like, if they're evolving with us and we're inventing technologies... They're going to learn they're from our technologies. Sh- learning from our technology and sharing it with us or whatever. So we're no longer this superpower that is running the decades world. and centuries ahead of all these other creatures. But again, the big thing, like you said, is thumbs. Yeah. Do you think that we'd? Ha- th- do you think humans would think to make things available to animals, like doors? We probably would, right? Because we're evolving with them. Eventually, we're going to need to ally with somebody. Because like now, obviously, there's like seven billion people on the planet. But yeah. like, say we're going back to like zero BC. Zero AD, whatever you want to call it. Day like, one. Day one. Like, do humans even make it? I mean, are you talking evolution day one? Are you talking about, like... I'm talking day one of, like, there being people. Like, people of our intelligence. I think that was just developed over time, though. Yeah, obviously. Because everything is just... I, I well, like, It goes environmental, in my point, in my opinion. Like, you grow, you grow to be as smart as your environment, and if you, if your environment is, is not the smartest, where are you gonna learn to be smart? That's true. God, um, it's a hard question because say even there's a hundred thousand people spread out all over the all planet, over the world, whatever. Yeah. Say, say there's say there's a North million, America, probably a better yeah. estimate. What? Yeah. A, a better number to start with, anyway. Like, a lot of regions. It depends on your region whether or not you survive, right? Because, like, North America, we're probably fine. Yeah, there's a lot of decent farmland, food, forage. And there's not, like, any ridiculous predators. Except for the wolves that come a-prowling. Yeah, but I mean... No, no, but no, no, you're right, you're right. Wolves, I feel like, are fairly... Like, bears aren't just going to come out of nowhere to hunt us. They might. They might. If they're smart. But, like... But there's better tasting game out there, I think. Yeah. Just think about it. Humans don't have that much meat. We're all flat bones. Yeah. Yeah. Like don't... most bears any like bears now anyway don't eat humans, just eat humans. They yeah, just because they'll it, kill you if you if you're messing with mess them, with then them they will yeah. mess with territory or whatever. But yeah, so I don't think we have to worry about bears. It'd really be like wolves, coyotes. Yeah. That might have a chance. But I feel like once we get But would we have as many like would it would we be as we're at a house right now. Mm-hmm. This house is it's, it's nice. Yeah, I feel like once we get structures going, then we'll mess with us. Because, like, a wolf's not going to think to build a structure. They just don't have the capability. I guess they do. But what? But is there a point, though? Yeah, exactly. I feel like structures were made once you have your established groups, you want to live together, and you want to protect yourselves from, the ele- from the, both the elements and to expand. Because, say we lived in caves. We live in a cave. The cave is nice. 
Then you have two people. Then you have four people. Then you have eight people. How many people can the cave hold? Yeah, exactly. So That's I mean, when they're also struggling to share the cave with like the animals that are smart, also looking for caves and that sort of thing. And yeah, so that's where the structure things come from. So I, I feel like it really come down to can we build fast enough? Yeah. And do the animals decide to build? There's... That's, there's so many factors that go into this. I, when I came up with this question, <laughs> I didn't think it would be that difficult. It's like, oh, could we make animals smart? Uh, sure, it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> like actually having animals smart will change the world so much. What happens if animals get smarter than we do? Like think about it. That'd be cool. Like 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 turtles. They they they'd be the wise. But the way just... I see people right now, it's like our intelligence at this point anyway has seen no limit. True. Like we have never stopped progression. Like, as, as a matter of fact, the more technology we produce, the faster we progress. No, that's very true. Because we have other technologies to help our progression. So it's like, as far as we know, there is no end to our cap- capacity in terms of intelligence. Individually or as a collective whole? As a collective whole. Okay. Like, as a single person, you're only going to be able to accomplish so much. True, true. But, like, as a as humanity, there's, like... No, there's no balance. There's no, I don't see. No I don't end. see any. I don't see that there is. I mean, I'm sure there is. Like, there's a place that like we're gonna plateau, and it's like we can't do any more until we hit like some ridiculous discovery. I think that's not gonna be for a while, though. Because yeah, like, right now, right now we're, we're still we're still we're still babies. Yeah. Like I I sort of see like ability to travel at faster than light or at close to speed of light. That, that's kind of like, ridiculous. At this point. Impossible. Looks unachievable. Yeah, because right now like, that's not right to now move something that quickly is just the logic. Once you get close to the speed of light, the physics starts being wonky. So it's like, if we ever get to that point where we can travel fast than light or figure out some way to do that, that's kind of like a plateau period. Because at that point, we can travel to any galaxy. We can discover things in other galaxies. So it really comes down to is like, once we can do that, what are we striving to do? Right now, I'm just driving to pass a test from here and there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm just trying to get to the work day tomorrow. <laughs> no, but dude, I, I know what you're saying, though. I know what you're saying. It's like, but once we get to that point, there's going to be something else that people are like, oh, we want to achieve this. Is it, would it be conquering planets at that point and making them inhabitable for humans? And just No, them- I'm talking about like, well, okay, so now we can travel faster than light. Do we start terraforming? Is like that the next project? I see. Like, I don't see why not. Imagine being able to turn Mars into another Earth. I don't see why that's a bad thing, especially since everything's going to be within a day trip. Mm-hmm. Just imagine, like, oh, I feel like going to Mars today. Oh, dude, it's oh, it's going to take all day. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like or teleportation. I dude, the teleportation that'd be the greatest thing ever. Or it's like the like end all be all is like being able to create life. What do you mean by that? Like, being able to just, like, I'm going to manufacture intelligence. Well, you manufacture computer intelligence, which is artificial, I guess. Yeah, but, like, actually being able to, like, I'm going to build something that's smarter than a person. And actually has conscious thought. I mean, te- we reproduction. Yeah, but I mean, like, being able to do it with science. Like, being able to fully understand the human brain. Oh, yeah, we don't know that yet. Yeah. That, 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 that's a good goal for me. Mm-hmm. Like... Do you even know why we yawn? I don't. Scientists don't. It's a flood of oxygen. Yes, but like, why? Why do? Why when I yawn, do you yawn? That's not. That's still not answered yet. Yeah, there's a lot of. That's still like, not answered yet. That sort of thing, so vague. But like, no. But it's like, there's so many things we don't understand. Like, there's just so far to go. Oh, it feels yeah. like intelligence never has a limit. Oh, yeah. No, there's so many questions that have to be answered. There's so many things that we need to learn. Mm-hmm. There's, like, we have the thought experiment. We have a lot of thought experiments. Yeah. But how? But once we get ready to test those thought experiments and then implement them into our daily yeah, lives. Yeah, even, like, where did life come from? Yeah, don't know. No. It's like, how can you know? It's like, okay, it caused by a big bang. Big bang theory. Some thing, wherever, explosion caused, like, where did that thing come from? I never thought of that. Yeah. I just assumed the Big Bang just happened. Yeah, I'm sure that's how the universe as we know it formed, or at least that's like the theory, and most people adhere to that theory. But like, where did that explosion originate, and what caused it? 
And like, where did those things come from prior to that? What was life like before the Big Bang? Yeah. Or was there life? Or was there anything? Would... Or did it just pop out of nowhere and there was a Big Bang and life was born? Okay, dude, you're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> like, there's no end. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so I'm sure like some animals and species would progress faster in intelligence wise, but I don't think there'll be a plateau. True. But would there be anyone that progresses faster? Is what I. I think anything with thumbs would progress faster. Because just your ability but to wield not, tools. I mean, true, but not only that, but like the thought experiment too. Imagine if we if we worked with, like, say, lions. Mm-hmm. Lions, lions might not have thumbs, but they're like, do this for us. Okay, cool. And then we type it out. And, or whatever, and then and we get and it I'm, all they, done. They'd probably invent their own ways to do things like that. Oh, true, yeah. At that point, like, voice recognition would be... Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah. Sure there'd be some obscure thing that they invent that we could never think of because we never have to solve their problems. True. I, f- I find myself being, if I have a problem, I have to find a way to fix it. I don't find, I don't go looking for. Yeah, I'm not going to try to figure out how to get a lion to wield a tool. Yeah, exactly. That's not something worth considering. And also you have to factor in the fact that if everything is intelligent, there's just so many more intelligences in the world, random ideas are going to come out of nowhere. I've met some people. <laughs> like, if you, I don't know how many species are on the planet. Oh. Um, like, how many life forms there are. But you've got to assume we're at least tripling the population. The population of humans it's i'm sure so much more because you got to think like mosquitoes so it's like the number of intelligence in the world would just skyrocket someone's going to come up with an idea true 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 so like i mean if one in every billion life form has a great idea that's, sure, that's with humans you've got like six great ideas coming out with everything else you've got like a hundred great ideas coming out say True, and then we'd have a lot more explanation, exploration capabilities. Mm-hmm. Think about it. We can't go deep in the ocean. Think about Going being from San Francisco. Exactly. Yeah. And then we can be like, so what do you see down there? Can you uh, tell us what we yeah, exactly. What we need to know? Yeah. It'd be so much easier to really learn and understand things. If we were all obviously working together. I mean, even if we're not, there's, there's always usually some people that are out for knowledge that mm-hmm. try to progress, that are just learning and doing things for knowledge sake. Yeah. That was another thing I was, you know, I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but like, so obviously world's divided right now. We're in different countries. We, we have different ideas, that sort of thing. Yeah. Does that change if aliens appear? <laughs> like if there's now an external threat to the planet, do you think we'd unite? Uh, to be fair, if they can, if an external threat that we don't even know about can just come out of here right now. Oh, we're screwed. Oh yeah. Done. We're absolutely, if, if. If there's a kind of life form that can make it to Earth from a distant galaxy, their technology is so far beyond ours. Like, Oh, yeah. No, there's nothing we can do about it. Like, you ever see the movie Independence Day? I have not. It's kind of a good movie. But, like, the way they beat the aliens is they install a computer virus on their mothership. It's like, you've got late 80s, 90s technology, mm-hmm. which is obviously super inferior to what we have today. Yeah. And you're installing a virus created then into a spaceship Destroying. that traveled across the galaxy to get here. And that virus is what did it? Seems legit. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I know so much about their technology that I can install this virus to destroy them. <laughs> Actually, I talked about it with my dad the other day. I was like, well, if you think about it, like... Every time Windows puts through an update, they crash my computer. So we have so much experience crashing our computers, <laughs> it'd be so easy. That's actually you just send a quick message over the Wi-Fi. It's like, Windows needs to update. <laughs> and they're done. Just see there, the, the mothership just... <laughs> I'm just picturing it. Like, all right, uh, whatever your name is, alien, fire the cannons. It's like, sir, sir, what is it? Got a Windows update. <laughs> no! <laughs> our one true <laughs> We're done! <laughs> <laughs> One true weakness. How do they have access to Windows 8,900? Yeah, right? Why are we still using Windows? <laughs> <laughs> what is Windows? <laughs> yeah, it, it just gets me. I think it's so funny. All of a sudden, they, we just start using dial up in America. <laughs> just all over, just being like, yeah. just, Sir, what is this? Sir. <laughs> I can't call. <laughs> So anyway, my conclusion out of this, giving animals brains, not a great idea. 
Maybe a good idea. Maybe not a good maybe idea. in the beginning, but starting starting from day one. All right, put it this way: if we do it now, it'd be weird. If now we do it, if we did it back, then, super weird. Yeah. All moral dilemmas pop up everywhere. If we could all unite and figure out some way to work together, it'd probably progress the technology. I think we'd have. I think we'd go back to it. tribes at that point, though. Yeah, I think. I feel like it'd be humans against everything. No, like, I don't think it'd be that. It'd be like, oh, dude, just think about it. If, if all if if all the animals like if everything around us started talking, mm-hmm. then we'd be like, oh, yo, what's up? What's up, brown bear? <laughs> and then we, <laughs> oh, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, brown bear? He'd be, he'd be like, dude, you understand me? I'm like, yeah, no, what's good. <laughs> and and then the, another human's like, "There's a bear. We have to kill." I'd be like, "Nah, he's chill." What do you do now if your if your neighbor wants to kill the bear? Yeah, I feel like bad idea. Bad Come, idea brings brings so many problems to the table. <laughs> but imagine if we grew up like that. From if we were if we if from the beginning of time that that'd be pretty cool. That was the thing. I feel like we'd come up with a way. To make it work, it'd be cool. I feel like there'd also be a lot less species. I feel like a lot of species would be wiped out. Probably. Yeah, probably. Just because of disputes that we couldn't even think of would pop up. Huh. So, good thing we're on top. I think if we could create an alliance with mosquitoes, it's like, we'll draw blood for you and feed you. So you don't have to bite us. Summertime would be so much better. Oh, Eric, I would like you could make blood pumps. I would, I would poison the well. I would kill them all. <laughs> I don't like, care. Yeah, you guys all feed here. We're gonna poison it. We got them now. God, eat mosquitoes. Uh, Imagine like the mosquito king being like servant. Try the, the blood king. first. Yeah, right. I don't think they could have the king because they die so quickly. It's the blood lineage. God, damn. <laughs> actually, I didn't even think of that. Like lifespans of creatures. Would really dictate how far they can go. Like mosquitoes, they die in like a day. There's oh yeah. No way a mosquito ever becomes smart enough because there's just no learning. No, but think about it like this. This is just random afterthought. You know how we were talking about how eagles dropping swordfish. Mm-hmm. Imagine if mosquitoes learned how to sharpen their noses and just like stabbing things in war. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's just a side. Yeah. But also, would lifespans of other animals elongate? Like house pets now, like a dog. Twenty years, fifteen. Years. Lives say twenty years is kind of like the cap. And that's with modern medicine. Yeah. Do they have dog medicine at that point? Well, I mean, we do have dog medicine at this point. Oh, true. I was going to... But would they... Oh, God. I don't know. Like, we have vets that, like... No, no. Our be, vet no, technology be, is telomeres, incredible. T- telomeres, telomeres, whatever yeah, they Yeah, I feel like... Everything is dependent on your biological genetics and stuff like that. Because yeah. it depends on how fast they degrade. Mm-hmm. And then once you, like, once you start repl- um, replicating through just like trying to get your bodily functions mm-hmm. to go all through yeah but like because humans as we've progressed our lifespan has just been continually increasing and probably will for at least a while yeah true but like i feel like dogs and stuff haven't they may have it might be it might because like it's gonna be relative tend to have to, like more natural resistances because they need them because they don't have medicine I mean, do they die from being sick or do they die from old age? I mean, I'm sure a lot of them die from... Because are they dying? I don't know. Because they're dying from... I mean, a lot of animals are dying because they're being killed by other animals. Right? Yeah. Like, how many animals live to be, like, a full length, full lifespan, whatever? The ones in captivity. Yeah. Yeah. And even then, like, some species are, like, 600 years... Not 600 years old, but, like, a tortoise can live hundreds of years. That's why they're the wise old species. But, like, your dog's not going to live 200 years old, regardless of how well kept they are. No, no. They'd, have, they'd probably max out at, like, 25. It's all about how their biological cells are. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. I learned this. But what if, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a good species that's just, like, low on the food chain. I don't even know. What do you mean low on the food chain? In what like sense? something that's most of their deaths are due to being hunted by other animals, uh, but actually have the capability of living for a really long time. Oh, uh, lobsters. Like, lobsters, really? I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they continuously just they keep growing bigger and bigger. It doesn't matter until they get eaten. That's cool. So yeah, yeah, interesting. Anyway, I think we've kind of exhausted the animals with brains topic. 
Yeah. Um, we have time for another question, I think. We're well, like, what, 40 minutes into this? We talked about for 40 minutes. <laughs> we talked about <laughs> animals and brain for 40 minutes. <laughs> we thought we were going to need extra subjects. I guess not. Um, so what was our, our second question was, this kind of ties in, I guess, because we're giving things, um, okay, brains, whatever, but superpowers. Ooh. Like, do you want superpowers? What superpower do you want? And what do you do with it? Oh, God. I mean, <laughs> well, do we get to pick our own superpowers? Yeah. I and feel just like everybody gets superpowers. We gotta start with like the big superpowers and work our way down. And work our way down. Yeah, because all right. So most iconic superpower is probably super strength. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, flexing. Fle- straight up flexing. <laughs> straight flexing. <laughs> but if you just have super strength, immediately something's coming to my mind. You can never use your super strength. And what? What do you mean by that? Because I'm... say you punch a wall and are able to punch through a brick wall. Then you'd be great at demolition. You'd be great at demolition, but if your body is not super reinforced, you're gonna destroy your arm. Oh, I so mean, you've kind of got your a pair. Like your body's super, gonna be. If you have super strength, you've got to pair it with super invulnerability. Because like even now, people who get really strong hurt themselves because they overexert themselves because their body can't handle the strength. I I mean yes, but I assume that you'd be accustomed to it. But then you're right. You just said. But that. your skin and your bones don't get any stronger. And if you run super super fast, then well, you're, if you if you super speed is like a next level friction, all that jazz. Yeah, you light yourself on fire once you get it going. Though. That'd be cool though. <laughs> That'd be, then, you, then you can be the human torch as well. Yeah. So <laughs> any powers like that, you'd have to assume that you're invulnerable. Yes. Right. Like Superman, his powers work because he's invulnerable. So we need to get invulnerability first. Yes. That is the first one. And then yes. we have to like branch off into other superpowers. You yeah, think? exactly. So let's assume you're invulnerable. Okay. What power do you want? What power do I want once I'm invulnerable? Super speed, I feel like, is a bad idea. Because even if you're invulnerable, if you're running that fast, your everything clothes. you're running is going to get destroyed. Your yeah. clothes are going to get destroyed. But then you can... The ground you're running on is going to get destroyed. The buildings next to you are going to get destroyed. The people you run by are going to explode. It's going to be a bad time. I mean, it'd be so cool. You could be a really cool supervillain at that point. Like, the f- speed you're running, the amount of air you're displacing will just create... Like, sonic booms everywhere sonic you go. Sonic booms everywhere. Yeah. I mean, if you can control how fast you're going... I mean, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want super speed. Mm-hmm. If I was to be legit and be like, oh, give me any superpower. Mm-hmm. Mind control. Why not? Oh, God. <laughs> you <laughs> see that? like the super evil person. <laughs> you see that money in the bank? This question. You should uh, give me that money in the <laughs> bank. <laughs> Give me everything. It's like, all right, yeah, you can have it all. Thank no, you. No. I feel like that's actually probably like one of the better choices. Yeah, but I feel like that's too overpowered. That's way too overpowered. It's obviously opinion. super overpowered, and it's also like super dastardly. Yeah. Like, if you want to control people's minds, you're kind of a dick. Don't tell me what I am. Like, you're definitely <laughs> not a good guy. <laughs> um, I wouldn't I'm want a great super guy. strength. No? no. I mean, no. Too too iconic. Too too too. It's icon- It'd be cool if you could control it perfectly. Yes. But imagine, imagine shaking somebody's hand. And just breaking their hand off because, like, you can – I guess it depends on how super strong super strong is. Because, like, now you can accidentally, like, crush something that's really weak, whatever. You have – think of holding, like, a, a styrofoam cup. Oh, yeah. How easy it is to break that. Imagine that being people's bones. Oh, that'd be messed up. I don't know if yeah. I can handle that. But or like you're patting your friend in the back and you actually break their shoulder. I I, I feel like you'd have to have some control over it because I can have ho- so much control. It, get, it gets. I mean, true. Think about it like this too. You know, oh god, you know those little like wire things, and how you and how if you push a little bit they snap. Mm-hmm. They're like little glass tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what they're called, but anyways, you 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 know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Either way, you have those. And if you, like, hold them the wrong way, they snap. Is everything like that? Yeah. Or, like, if you're capable of being... Say you're capable of lifting 5,000 pounds. True. Even. Yeah. And that's not, like, if you're looking at, like, Superman, like, he can clearly lift more than that in terms of, like, sonic and more or whatever. Like, even that much weight, that's probably 10 times what I can lift. Easy. Like, I'm a pretty strong guy. I can probably lift 500 pounds on a good day. I can but see like that. to do ten times that, no, 
would be insane. Yeah, no, that'd be crazy. And it's like, would your like, would, would your muscles just be more dense or they bigger? I hope that they're more dense. Like your muscles do get more dense as you grow them naturally, but they'd have to be like for you not to look like an absolute freak, like Bane or something from Batman. You'd have to. They'd have to be so incredibly compact. You would be wicked heavy. Yeah. Like imagine my like your body being ten times the size, and that's only to lift five thousand pounds. Like an average Tuesday. Like you couldn't move. It'd be like being. Yeah, a you'd have no, you have zero flexibility. Yeah. You'd have zero flexibility. Yeah. So I'm voting no for super strength. No, no super strength. Would you go invisibility? Can you can you turn it on and off? Of course, it's not a superpower if you couldn't. I feel like that's not a bad choice. So invisibility is another one of those like either you're going to be like a special ops person or you're a creep. Yeah, it can go either way. Like you're either a spy or a pedophile. Maybe not a pedophile. I mean, but like a pervert. <laughs> like what are you doing with with invisibility? I'm not – nothing – If you're nothing, not, like, trying to use it as, like, a spy. I mean, nothing good. I, I was thinking robbing banks. Yeah, it's like robbing like, banks, looking at people naked. All the, it's like nothing see, good comes out of it. No, but really good prank good. Really good prank <laughs> good. <laughs> you would have the best YouTube channel. Dude, think about it. You have, you have, you have a ghost shoot in front of you. Did you <laughs> start see? running at people and then they take it off and you're like, I'm <laughs> – you can also have to be like naked all the time, <laughs> unless you can turn your clothes invisible. I'm already naked <laughs> <laughs> underneath my clothes. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so like even if you could, you could control it, it's not that useful. No, true. It'd be fun though. <clears throat> not that useful. No, no. I I just want to see all the prank things. Like, even if you were gonna be a spy, you'd have to be naked all the time. You wouldn't have any tools with you or anything. I didn't think of that. Like, even if you're like a special ops person, you're invisible. You're not gonna bring any gear with you. True. I mean, you can just get surveillance done. Yeah. Like I mean, you, you, it'd be. And great. you'd have zero resistance to cold. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, could be in a colder place <laughs> any bad time. <laughs> um. No. Invis like you, invisibility might not be that good. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking invisibility is like not great. No. Sounds cooler than it is. Like, a lot of these superpowers are great for fighting other superpowered people. Yeah. Like, that's the way a lot of them are used. Like, super strength. Great for fighting other superpowered people. But, like, I just uh, invisibility, it. great for, like, tactical battle and that sort of thing. So. No. Well, what else? Flight, I feel like would be great. Yes. The ability to fly. I, I, don't see, I don't see anything bad with Even that. if it came, like, with dope-ass angel wings... I would take that. I could be down with angel wings. Like, actually, there's an X Men called. I think he's called Angel. He just has magic. That'd be so cool. Yeah. You'd be buying like, clothes would be a pain, but yeah, no, it'd be really cool. Yeah, it'd be so cool. Dude, it's like you wear a jacket backwards all the time. Or just like have your clothes so they clip in the back or something, or the zipper in the back, whatever, so they could get around the wings. You don't know how to tailor, but yeah, no, that would work. Man, whatever. Get your clothes custom fit. You have angel wings. You're cool. <laughs> and you I'll take it. <laughs> I can show you the world. <laughs> With all right, new question: If you could fly, would you take wings or no wings? Like Superman fly, or like be able to like? I don't know. That's actually a good question. I feel like the do wings I... bring an intimidation factor that's just like undeniable. But like, do I get perfect flight control? Like, can I just hover and do whatever? As, I want? Yeah, assume you can fly. You can perfect flight. You can hover. You can fly quickly. You can all that. Personally. The wings would be wicked cool. I wouldn't say no. But I feel like it'd be so much cooler to do it without the wings. I think so. But the wings... It depends on if other people could do it, right? Because if you had the wings, it'd be so iconic. True. Like, people would be like, that's... That's Tom Asmar, the wing guy. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, it'd also be, like, super obvious. Yeah. And it's like... Then you, it, you'd be like... I'd have to chauffeur people by flying because they'd be like, oh, you can fly. Well, you wouldn't have to chauffeur people, but you'd be so recognizable that people would probably just bother you all the time. True. But then again, you're going to have to walk down the street and fly down. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. It would look cool. But I feel like it'd be, ideally, it'd be like super cool to have the wings, but it'd probably be a lot more inconvenient to not have them. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, if I, ha if I could fly and high has wings, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. 
but if I but if I had the choice, I'd choose not to have wings. Best of both worlds, the wings appear when you want to fly. You know, Eric, you're now you're thinking outside the box. It's like they're like phase into <laughs> existence. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. What other like super good super powers? A lot of like travel ones. Like teleportation. Teleportation. You, oh, dude, I would like, pick that in a heartbeat. That's got to be one of the best choices. Oh yeah. I want to go here. Okay. Like in Jumper, even if you have to see the location. I would, did you see that movie? Yeah. Okay. That that's a, that's a great example. It's such a bad like, movie. Like, there's no way the Jumper should have lost. No. Or should have been in like a league. But anyway. Yeah. But it doesn't. Like, well, Jumper was even like you had to have been to that location at some point in time. You don't have to see it. I thought you just had to look. Like I, he looked at the pictures for a lot of them, and he just went there. I think it was just he had been there before, so he could go there. Oh, okay, okay. I don't remember fully. It's been a long time since that movie came out. But true, but, like, true. but yeah, even if you had to been there before, you take a, pl- a plane trip around the world. Oh, whatever. yeah. Whatever. Just, I'm going to go around the world, and now I can teleport anywhere I feel like. Yeah, exactly. That'd be really cool. A teleport station would be super cool. Just, like, what do you mean? Like a home base teleport? I'm confused. I'm sorry. What? I mean, I said teleportation would be super cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Teleportation. So it's like all the travel ones, like flights, super speeds, kind of no. Yeah, no. Because once you start getting to that fast, they just start screwing with you. But you'd you. be really good at sports. Yeah. You really got sports. I mean, if you had if you had flight and wing, so it'd be very good. Yeah, if you could fly, I feel like that'd be banned in a lot of sports. Okay, if you have, if like you, you have, probably can't play football and also fly. I mean, I could play like football, but a not great professionally. Receive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fly ten feet up, catch the ball, and fly in the end zone. It's easy. What? I thought you said this game was hard, guys. <laughs> Imagine if you could fly the sports that would come out of that. Like if everybody could fly. Oh, dude, that'd be sick. There'd be you could play Quidditch. We could play Quidditch. We could play Quidditch. That'd, That'd be actually so cool. be sick. That actually be freaking awesome. That actually like being able to fly would open up so many possibilities for sports. You know, three like three D ping pong. Yeah. Or like I don't know three like basketball would be a whole different game. Would you get tired if you used your flight? I I assume it would take the same amount of energy as like moving. running, probably even more. Yeah, I would. Hide. Assuming you have wings. It's like moving your legs, wings instead of your legs, right? Yeah. Like birds obviously get tired. If you're like just flying without wings, I'm sure it would be like an internal draw on energy in some way. That yeah, that makes more sense. I was just thinking like, imagine if you can keep going it without any. It out so much more fun. <laughs> just... I would be so far jacked if I could fly because I would be flying all the time. <laughs> what? Like, think about it. If you could travel. By flight, like by yourself, but it used the same amount of energy as running. I would be so big. I feel like, I feel like they're different things, though. I don't know. I just feel like it's different things. Like, would it be a mental energy that you're using, or would it be like? Oh. It's, it's got to be physical energy because you're moving your mass. Oh god, this is this is confusing now. I'm I'm, I'm assuming you're doing it with wings. Oh, with the wings, wings that makes more sense. Yeah, I'm ass- I'm assuming that the conversion will be the same if you're doing it with wings or without wings, just for to make things easy. True, 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 true. Like it's gonna take that amount but, of energy. But where would the energy go? Where would which part of you would get ripped? Your core? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I have no idea. If we're doing it without wings. I guess it just like overall body usage. I don't know. Hmm. What yes. other superpowers are there? What other superpowers are there? Like, there are some unconventional ones. Like, you've obviously got, like... Con- turning yourself into liquid. <laughs> turning yourself I, into would liquid. Would you do that? I would. Yeah, I mean, if it's, like, being able to do it or not being able to do it. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? If I can turn into liquid, it just opens up some more options. <laughs> but would I choose it if I could choose any superpower? No. 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 Hmm. That also brings a problem. What if the ECU gets, like, left behind? Can you turn back into a solid form? Or, like, when you turn back, will your foot be in the other room? Uh, I'd, I'd hope that it all went together. I'd hope... Or do you end up smaller? That would be fine with that'd me, too. It's like take the total mass away, so it's like you're just a little shorter. I, that, that'd be fine with me. I'd rather have that than lose a foot. Yeah, and yeah then, me too. And then I can reconvene later. All right, can you shorten the normal? Oh, shit, I left my legs in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think about that. If you, could, if you could turn into liquid, put certain amounts of yourself in different containers, and then reform, you could change your size, too. That'd be crazy. What if you split exactly 50% of the water? Then you'd be half your height, half your size. But could you turn the other half into another one of you? Oh God! Could you clone yourself? I'd I'd hope not to, because I I I just hope, because that yeah. just makes it a lot more confusing, and I don't want to. But then you have the option. <laughs> 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 it's 
to clone yourself. That'd be but pretty which cool. Which one of you would be in charge? I think you'd be your own two two different humans at that point. I no, that, that doesn't make no. sense. But you know you're the same person. I I feel like you're like. I feel like you're the same person, and you don't want to fight against each other. But like, do you have the same brain? Like, are you one person controlling two bodies, or are you two different brains? Two different brains, two different bodies, but the but same same everything else. Like same goals, desires, drives and needs, same humor, same words, same everything like that. Yeah, you're the perfect clone. Perfect. I'm clone. gonna go ahead and say I don't want to do that. Why? I I feel like that'd be cool now that you're, now that we're saying it. Cause think about it. Imagine having two conversa- half-sized views. Imagine you can choose to go back anytime. That's but, true, but, but both if, you would have to choose to. But I feel like it'd, it'd just be like a. It'd, it'd be a general understanding. It's like I would I would want to go back. Yeah, like you're not gonna argue with yourself. Exactly, you're gonna be like, okay, we got to do it for this reason. No, that's fair. Yeah. All right, I can I can see the merits. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and then, because <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't be an evil version of you. I really don't think that would happen. No, I think it's just, like you'd have to. Assuming it's like it's just another one of you, you're exactly the same. Yeah, it's like it, it's that'd two, be the most. It's two of me, and then it's just like one of me. Do I just get twice the ideas now? No, I don't know how that would work now. No, I I just feel like it'd be you, and then. It's you and you and you, but you're just different sizes. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, huh. but like the next superpowers that come to my mind are like elemental bending. Like we got ability to control fire. Just like, give me air. Picture picture like Avatar. Give like me air. ability to control elements. Give me air. Air is probably the best of the yep. um, Anywhere you are, except in a vacuum. But anywhere else you are. Every time you're in a vacuum. I mean, being able to control fire is one of those things. It's like you spontaneously it's combust it. It's useful if you're it. a bad guy. I mean, you can you spontaneously combust it? Oh, that's a good question. Is it like a firebender in like Avatar where they can create fire? If that is, or is it like the X Men guy who has to have fire to manipulate? I I prefer to if I could not if I had to have the fire, that kind of suck. Yeah, it'd be easy to get around. And just carry around a lighter. Yeah, but then you only get. You'd also light. be a great firefighter. True. It's like. Fire off. Yeah. Easy peasy. Day's over. At the same time, it's like, if you're just creating, like, it's either you're a firefighter or you're a bad guy. More or less. It's, yeah, it's one of those el- things that's like, yeah. Controlling water. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Fluid. Fluidity. You'd be able to swim Tranquil. really fast. Yeah. Michael Phelps, watch out. Here I come. Yeah. Because, um, like, water has a lot of uses. Yeah. And you can... You could also, like draw water from the earth so you'd never need water you can purify it by taking only the water out and yeah, leaving exactly. the sediments in so that'd be like super cool earth bending that'd be really cool Structures. earth bending would be so cool yes you structures do... completed you'd have super fortified areas yeah because i'm assuming you can like actually like form the rocks and stuff yeah you'd be an incredible builder oh like yeah. you'd be a millionaire because you could put together a neighborhood in a day and they'd be made out of solid stone oh yeah which would be incredible. Airbender? I feel like it's just the most fun and freeing. Yeah. Could you fly if you're an airbender? I'd assume so. I'd assume. I think in Avatar, one of the airbenders learns how to fly because he knows the air so well. True, but like... That's in like the second Avatar. Like, Ava- Korra? Like Korra? Yeah. yeah. But it, just like imagine being able to control the air below you just to push up. Yeah. That's what I think of it as. Mm-hmm. And then you just But have... the rest of the time, it'd be very... It's a very like one-dimensional i feel like like it's very freeing yeah you can probably learn to fly which would probably be most useful but i feel like earth bending would be the most like useful in terms of society true i feel like air bending is a more selfish choice yes yeah still pick it i'm trying to think of like a good reason to take air bending besides being able to like fly and stuff um because we're because we're considering flying as a separate control air patterns yeah, but what benefit does that have? You'd be a great kite flyer. Oh, dude, you can also control the weather. <laughs> it's going to rain. Not today. Yeah, but like controlling the weather, I feel like, has global consequences. Like, if you change the air patterns in your area, it's going to affect everything. True. True. I didn't think of that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with solid earth bending. Earth bending. My choice out of all of them. Earth bending sounds nice. Water bending also. Water bending is a close second, I think. Yeah. Fire is like whatever. Yeah, fire is like you feel like a badass, but you're. Oh, you can you can you can move things around and just not move with airbending. 
mm-hmm. you control the air, I'm like, oh, give me that water. Oh, wait, don't worry, watch this. He picks up the glass, yeah. and just in the air, just like, Phew. Well, you can do it with any of the elements. You just need to have a piece of that element to use. Fire, you, Fire, you couldn't do it. Earth, you could. It's like, you know, it's my rock. It's not like a floating tray. I mean, would your house... I think everything would in my house would be made I, out of rock at that point. Every, my furniture would be rock. My house would be rock. Anything you can make it out of any rock. Could you control, like, diamonds and stuff? I was I was thinking about that. Like, could you mine for rocks and then be like, oh, there's gold here. Let's put all the gold in one corner and, like, all the diamonds. Yeah, because, I mean, you could... Assuming you can't move metals. Metals, you like... You can only move minerals. Like, no, you can't move metals. It'd be so easy to mine them, though, because you can just separate out the metal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh. can't control it. I would say that's... But, I mean, like, Avatar, like, really good earthbenders can control metal. I assume that's a different different thing now. Okay. Just assume, just because... Yeah. Like, you have Magneto rather than an earthbender. Yeah. Like, you can control metal. I think you can control metal in Well, maybe not. Because that requires you to one. have metal around. True. Earthbending, you can do almost any time. Yeah. Almost But anytime. metal is just... Mm, yeah, I think it's I'd, everywhere I'd, now. I think I'd go with earth instead, like stone and whatever. Stone? Because earthbending is not even stone. It's just like earth. Like dirt, you mean? Yeah. Well, in the show, they can move like dirt and stuff and sand. But, and they can... Rem- yeah, and they can move rocks. Yeah. I feel like earth is metal bending, but to a certain... Extent. It's just like lesser metal bending. Yeah. Yes. The metal bending is the more. So it'd be really, it really be determined by what you're limited to in terms of the actual material you can move. But then would that just not be skill determinant? Because think about it like this: you get the people that can, you know, the pen flipping things or like, oh yeah, those earth, <laughs> crazy or, things, spin pens. And then like the people that can kick a soccer ball around, like, and just do all these massive tricks. Mm. Now imagine like you just started doing it. You yeah, can, so like the better you get, the more materials you can utilize. I like think some should, of them are more dense or whatever are just harder to use. Yeah, it's just like right now I can't say I can I can max out at a rainbow right now with the soccer ball, mm-hmm. and I'm just like okay, there I go. But then I do a rainbow into like landing it on my shoulders and neck, yeah, and then crazy. I can run around and start doing push ups and like doing a flip after that. But mm-hmm. like that's just like yeah, it's you just can practice. do whatever you want. All right, yeah. yeah. So I, I think I'm still going with that. Like yeah. eventually, because like you can master it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going with that. In terms of elements. Oh, great. What other superpowers are there? There's some wild ones. Being able to heal. Heal. Self healing and also healing other people. That'd be really good. Like you'd be the best if, doctor ever. Yeah. If you'd you could heal the, other people, you'd be the best doctor in the world. You'd be the best doctor in the world. Especially if again, if it's like a skill level thing, like early on you can heal cuts and bruises, whatever. But like eventually you can like mend cells. Even. Oh my god. And like cure die for like yeah, like cure diseases and stuff. And like once cancer is a thing, or you know what I mean, can- like mm-hmm. what cancers happen, you're like these cells are dividing too rapidly. Let's just, just like those are gone. Fix them. Yeah. yeah, that'd be crazy. Could you make people immortal? Or could you fix old age? Technically, yes. Oh wow, that'd be my choice. That would be. Yeah, you'd be immortal. Yeah. Yeah. But would you want to be? Can heal yourself. Would you want to be though? Would you would I want to be immortal? Well, if I have that superpower, I can make other people immortal. True. Because, like, if their cells are aging, I can just repair them. Okay, that seems a little strong if you can do it to yourself and to others. Yeah. It's only one or the other. Oh, it's only one or the other? Now, 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 now it's a different thing. Because I feel like if you could heal yourself and other people, you just need to find somebody else that can do that. Yeah. Yeah. What if you're the only one? Oh, God. Which one would you like, pick? Like, self-healing. You see, being able to self-heal, there's so many things that come become involved because you're assuming you're immortal because, like, like Wolverine or whatever, he his superpower is actually like self-healing. Yeah, he's hundreds of years old because his cells just keep repairing themselves, so he's immortal. Yeah. Um. So like, you accumulate infinite wealth, right? Because you'd be the most experienced person in the world. You could learn infinite things because you'd never die. Yeah, and so you can make infinite mistakes because it doesn't matter. You could rob a bank for billions of dollars, and even, stash it somewhere, go to jail for a lifetime, and still get out, and not care. <laughs> you can, you can go, you can freaking, you know, you know the trapeze artists that are like, oh, there's no rope, <laughs> there's no rope. Whoops! Oh wait, never mind. Yeah. So like, you'd have infinite wealth, you'd have infinite knowledge, because you could just keep learning. Because what else are you gonna do with your time? You'd be the most powerful being in the world. 
Yeah, absolutely. But then you think about it like this: Would you, you would you be able to have friends? Because everybody, See, that's every, the biggest. The everybody, biggest everybody letdown would be relationships. You, you, everybody else would not be able to compare to your knowledge. Everybody else would be. You'd be like, oh, let's do this thing, and then you're like, I can't do that because yeah, it's, it's going to be like the loneliest thing, the loneliest superpower. I think I'd be okay with it though. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Like if it was either that or nothing, I'd take that obviously. Oh yeah, no questions asked. Like relationships, it sucks that they won't last forever. But it's like I feel like after the first couple 10 centuries yeah. you're like you come to understand it and actually think about it we live say 10,000 years which is obviously like ridiculous yeah you'd be a different type of human than everybody else you'd probably look different yeah everybody else is evolving and you stay the same yeah would that be a good thing or a bad thing at that point i feel like at that point you'd be like worshiping god true especially since you're 10,000 years like, old especially <laughs> because like once you get that rich and that powerful like people are gonna recognize you because of your wealth. People are gonna recognize you because of your intelligence, and then eventually someone's gonna to put it together. This guy's been alive for two hundred years. He probably something special. So at once you get to like thousands of years old, you're probably worshipped. Like people probably see you as some kind of god, or hated because they're jealous, or hated but or they envious. also can't kill you. True. Yeah. So eventually, could, could you die though? It. Is there a point at which you I'm assuming die? you can't die? So you're picking you're either alive forever or you can die. Okay, that's fair. Like Wolverine, he gets shot in the head, he steps up, he stands back up. Because he's like, whatever, my brains are healed. Okay. I did not know that he could do that. Yeah, like he gets shot in the head so many times. Every once in a while, he loses his memory at one point because it destroys a certain part of his brain and it heals, but it heals back as a new brain so he loses his memories or something. But that, like, That's kind of sad, but yeah, no. It's kind of sad, like... but you're still alive forever. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, dude. And at that point, you have like, you have all your information stored somewhere, I'm sure. Like, you don't just get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Like, like you if keep you track of things. I, I'll just keep everything in notebooks and stuff like that. Yeah. Every, everything you can always just refer back to and then be like, okay, that's what happened. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. That'd be wild. Yeah, because, I mean, once you get to be thousands of years old and people recognize you, they're just like, that guy's like 5,000 years old. What's what's up? <clears throat> how you, yeah, how, exactly. how you doing, man? <laughs> but you don't look a day over 30. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm feeling good, you know. <laughs> no, you'd when be, I was here, <laughs> you'd be the most famous person in the world. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Would you like to be famous? Would I would be, be famous. I'd like to be. I mean, yeah. Who, would, who wouldn't want to be famous? Sure. Some people, some people, I I can understand them being like, I don't want the attention. Yeah, the attention can kind of suck, but at the same time, if you're famous, you usually have a lot of money. Like, I don't want to be famous without money. That's just awful. Yeah. True. I want to be. I want, it comes down to I'd, I'd like to be rich. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> to be, I, I I can agree with that. I mean, I also really just do like attention. Yeah. I like attention. I'm not a fan of attention. No. Ah, uh, you've met me though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'll take it if I deserve it, but I'm I'm not gonna go out of my way to get attention. Mm, same. No, 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 same. <laughs> if I if I know if I know the people. Look at me, everybody. I'm Tom. <laughs> I've only said that like ten times today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh I I won't do that in like a in a random crowd that doesn't know me. But like if, when when we're in a group together, I want I want to be part of the group. Well, yeah, if you're in a group, people you want people to pay attention to you, think you're funny, or whatever. So yeah, that's just that comes with being in a group. You can't tell me what how to live my life, Eric. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you love you too, Tom. Uh, but yeah, I think I guess between being immortal yourself and being able to heal people. It's such a tough question because one of them is super selfish but also super cool. Yeah. The other one is like you can help save the world. You can re re just make at up the medicine time, at the, a different point. I mean, Imagine being able to You're understand. not immortal, right? Yeah. The world, I feel like, would start to depend on you and then you'd die. No, but think about it like this. If you get to a certain point of certain skill that you can actually heal cells, they can study how you heal them and what happens to those cells while you're doing it. So you save humanity. In I guess that's true. That that would be, it's like you save humanity and you save for yourself. Yeah, I'd probably take the latter of the two. I'd probably be able to heal other people. I, I don't know if I can push that. But I I mean yes. Imagine the first time you did it too. Just like oh my god, he's bleeding. Let me heal. Yeah. Let me. Let me have to, you'd have to like my two conditions are, my hands and eyes have to glow when I'm doing it, just because that's how you do it. <laughs> 
Like, it's gotta be flashy. Okay, fair, fair, fair. It'd be cool if I also got, like, some mad angel wings when I did it. I was like, I'm an angel, bitch. <laughs> and people were like, what? Do these angel wings let you fly? <laughs> no, they're just for show. Okay, fair. It's <laughs> like this little, like, you know, the strap on angel wings kids have with this. <laughs> just like, cur those. <laughs> okay, but the glowing eyes and hands, I can see that. Yeah, no, so it's got to be, like, people got to be like, whoa. Because otherwise, you go to, like, some guy's cancer. You put your hand on him, it's like, I feel like, he wasn't about to no. Yeah, no, you no, didn't do anything. Don't, don't lie to me. <laughs> it's got to be flashy. I was like, can you imagine the first time you actually did it? The world would explode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, people couldn't handle it, I don't think. I don't like, think that they Guy do. walks into hospital, heals all patients. <laughs> <laughs> or even. You also put hundreds of people out of a job. I don't think so. The, you, you couldn't be everywhere at once. No, but like, even if you were to take one location. And make that your location. Like, people can come to me between 9 and 5, and I'll heal you. Even if it's for a cost. There has... Like, th- true. Hospitals would shut down. Yeah, true, 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 true. Would you charge exor- exorbitant prices? I feel like you wouldn't have to. Just the mass amount of people? Yeah. Would you be able to cure brain? Even if each person is paying 100 bucks. Which, compared to, like, getting treated for cancer, I'd pay 100 bucks. Yeah, no. I'd pay $10,000, and it'd still probably be cheaper. But, like... Does it take energy out of you now? That's the question. Yeah. Then you could just always eat. It doesn't matter at that point. Yeah. I'm assuming you can do it infinitely, as long as, like, you have the energy for it. Okay, that's fair. To some disease. Like, obviously, it's gonna, you're exerting yourself, but, like, I'm assuming it's not crippling you to help somebody and if you want to stop at some point you can be like okay i can't handle this right now yeah yeah no that makes sense i feel like there'd be need for hospitals but less people would go to them yeah like if you had a location that people could come to good oh (laughs) it has been an hour and 15 minutes jesus all right um i'm sure we could dive Deep, deep into the superhero. We can do that for another time. We can. We can continue the conversation. I'm, we can bring I'm always time. okay with that. Yeah. Because I mean, there's just so many superpowers and so many ways. We can have like... We can make a tier list. Yes. We'll have to do some more research. And we'll, we'll put the good and the bad, the left and the right. We'll, we'll, we got this. We got this, guys. We'll work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think we're going to stop there for today. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, We've had a great time. We didn't lose track of time in these because we're talking. Um, but yeah, feel free to um, subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on SoundCloud. We're on Stitcher. We're on Google Play, iTunes. So you can follow us, like us in all those places. Um, yeah, thanks guys for listening. We'll see you next week. Adios. Bye.